All right, so for my journal, I'm documenting this device. This is an Arduino RAN electric fence. <laughs> Probably the most unique thing I've ever made uh, with use of an Arduino. So I've always been fascinated by electric fences. And uh, they had this thing called a scat mat. Basically, it's a mat that you walk on and if you walk on it, it will deliver you a static charge to your foot, and it's really highly annoying. I guess they use it for pets that are bad. Um, I don't have any pets that are bad, but I was very fascinated by how it worked. So um, I got into voltage multipliers, and when I got into voltage multipliers, I got into negative ion generators, and then I stepped back and said, well, you know what, I, I just wanted a little static charge, and this is what I came up with. Uh, so the Arduino sends a pulse, 20 millisecond pulse, over to an opto isolator chip, which is right there. And that turns it on and off at, again, 20 milliseconds, and then uh, sends the power going through the transformer. Transformer connects and takes DC current and goes to AC current and stores it in these capacitors. Wow, right? Okay, so if you ever wanted to build this section of it, uh, that's on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash canned mushrooms. And uh, if you type in shock in the search, I show you how to break down a schematic, and I use this as the example. Uh, the only thing different, instead of a button, I use the opto isolator to turn it on and off, and that what that did is it made it so it keeps charging up these no matter what, one, because again, I sit here pressing the button to charge it up, and two, it limited the amount of DC current that went into the transformer, so it gave it down like a cool down period. All right, so now it's more of a static poke than a stun gun approach. I also put a one ohm resistor right here to kind of limit it a little bit more, and you can vary up this resistor uh, to any and all ends, like if you put a, a mega ohm in there, you can barely feel it, but it still give you a static shock. Okay, so uh, I found this uh, piece of 1530 uh, 8020. Uh, I did, it was too small to do anything with, so I built a shelf out of it, and on, on the shelf there's just an acrylic shelf, and I put a piece of copper tape going all the way around it. So if you touch the copper tape, it pokes you with a static shock. So, and then it recharges itself because it's recharging every, every so often. All right, so this is probably the most protected item in my house now. And that's what happens when you get bored. So, Arduino ran electric fence kind of post it down for the nerds that want to kind of look at it. Again, most of it's already documented really well. 555timer.com I think is where I got the original circuit for this. Uh, then I just modified it for the Arduino using the opto isolator. So, I hope you enjoy. Have a good one.